guys, we're here at PNE in Vancouver. You can see the roller coasters in the background. And a uh, big drop over there. All sorts of fun stuff. So, roller coasters, most people think the word fear, right? So, in this video, we want to talk about fear and how to deal with your fear, how to overcome your fear, especially, specifically, in your business or in your career. So, stay tuned. Hey, we're back. We're at the Will Fan, and I'm David Wong on the Will and David Show. And uh, today, we're going to talk about fear. So, one of the um, hardest things to do for a lot of people when they start in business is networking. Mm -hmm. And if you're talking about networking, you have the king of networking here, <laughs> yeah. Will Fan. I don't know how many people he's uh, networked with, probably thousands and thousands of thousands. People. Okay. Yeah. And at first, um, how did you feel about networking? Were you scared of a networking? You know, uh, my first time when I networked, I realized that um, it, it, uh, there was certain urgency. Um, there was also a certain um, courage that you have to develop. And what that really is, is to confront it, right? We have to confront why, why do we need network? Um, you know, some people need network because they need connections, they need to find clients, um, you know, they need to find some resources, right? So. Wherever it may be, uh, it really depends on your, your why. And I really think that a lot of people are afraid to network is because, uh, yeah, like people are afraid to talk to other people because they don't know each other. It's like, who are you? You're like a stranger, you have nothing, right? How did you overcome your fear? You know, um, what I had to do was um, I had to put on a suit. So it, start, it started with a suit, you know. Uh, I made sure that I had a business card, even at the time, you know, my business was not very established or very small, right? So, um, what I had to do was, um, I had to go in there being a profession, right? I'm going in there and my only role is a marketer, right? I go in there as a marketing director or thinker or whatever it is, um, you know, creative designer. So, I go in there with a certain profession. Back then, if people network, and people ask you like, okay, what do you do? I said, what do you do, Will? I said, well, if they don't know, you know, there's a, there's a big problem, mm -hmm. right? I think that um, the most important thing is uh, start by developing your credibility, uh, your communication skill, and then that will also lead to sales skills as well, right? Yeah. So you need to have all these three when you go into a networking event mm -hmm. to be well prepared because people ask you extremely difficult questions and also if you meet the right guys or the wrong people they can go in and try to oppose what you're trying to do. And then they can, make, they can literally make fun of you from, from there, right? Yeah. Okay, well, um, so I think um, based on what Will said, like some tips you can get is number one is dress well, dress your best. Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, spend some money on a nice suit, okay? Don't go to the bay and just buy any suit that doesn't fit, okay? Mm -hmm. Fit and the cut is more important than the suit itself, mm -hmm. okay? Uh, if you have a limited amount of money to spend, make sure that you get it tailored well, tailored well so that it fits your body well, mm -hmm. okay? That's very really key. Mm -hmm. If you have the money to invest in a really good suit, then take a look at Garrison, okay? Mm -hmm. Go to Garrison, Garrison Bespoke. Uh, and, uh, Garrison in Vancouver. <laughs> in Vancouver, okay? And uh, they can make you like a Superman suit, basically. Yeah. Number two is to have a script. Like Will said, people are gonna ask you questions. Uh, about your business, about what you mm -hmm. do. At first, one of the very common questions, hey, so what do you do? What business are you in, right? Mm -hmm. So if you don't have a short answer for that, like right. uh, let's say you can say that in 10 seconds and then that would that would um, you know encapsulate exactly what you do, mm -hmm. then you're, you're screwed, right? If you're like, I, 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 I don't know what you do, right? Yeah. And then you're stumbling, then you know they're gonna write you out yeah. right away. So make sure you have a good script. You have at least a uh, 10 second script and then you have a 30 second script. Right. So you have a short version, 10 second script, what do you do? You say, I do blah, 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 and, and in this industry and my specialty is blah, blah, blah. That's your 10 second script right there, okay? Or you can do a 30 second script is what they, if they show more interest and they're like, oh, that's very interesting, tell me more about that, then you say your 30 second script. And then you want to ask the other person about their business. You want to show interest, right? One of the first book I read was uh, How to Win Friends and Influence People by Dale Carnegie, okay? So if you want to influence people, be generally interested in other people and ask them questions and find out about them, right? right. Uh, so that's that's how I do it. 
personally. What do you think? Yeah, that's right. Uh, you have to find what you can like for the person and what they agree on, right? And once you have that, you establish communication. Uh, you establish what's real with each other, right? Um, so you don't necessarily need to talk about your business first. Um, I always say make that the person who is being introduced to you make that person more important than you. So back to the topic about fear. When you go to a place where everybody's higher level than you, they're like superstars or they're billionaires, right? How do you network with them? Like you're just a nobody. You're just starting out. Like what gives you the the uh, the right or the good spot to walk up to them and say hello and shake their hand? Right? Well, so the advantage is um, someone. Let's let's start with a billion. Let's go all the way to the top, right? And kind of start from there. So the, probably the most easiest thing um, that I've I've done person myself when I meet these uh, people at this caliber is that they genuinely want real friends, right? And that's what they want. Like they have, they made all, all their money. They don't need you to tell them what to do. They don't need you to sell them or tell them what's profitable. They already are extremely rich, right? Some of them might be more driven than, the, than others, right? Some of them say, yeah, I want to make more money. Then great, you have the greatest collaboration you can ever find. Somebody that actually will work with you and is a billionaire. But uh, for most people, they're very sensitive. They don't know who you are or whatever, right? So the best thing to do is, uh, one, be a friend, right? Uh, stop selling them shit, right? Uh, you know, stop trying to remind them like all these things that you're trying to do and blah, 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 right? They, they are kind of, at this point, uh, wanting to kind of slow down a bit, meaning like they already work so hard, they don't need you to tell them to work harder and and, and push it on uh, upon them, right? So uh, the most important thing I, I think how to get over that next barrier is actually they don't have much time. They're very successful. Uh, people like that, they, they always travel. Uh, they can probably, you're, you're gonna be lucky if they can have at least one day with you, okay? If you have one day with them, you're in the door, you better know what to you like what to do and utilize those time as efficiently as possible because whatever you say or do will make an impact in that impression. So, um, so how do you get over the fear of, of talking to people? I think first you need to practice, right? Uh, I know this is cheesy, but practice in front of a mirror. Imagine you're meeting yourself uh, in front of a mirror. Practice your your script. Practice your lines, practice your smile. Your smile is very important, right? Start to start to network with people, uh, friends or friends. Okay, before you go to someone completely cold, find some warm places that you can practice. So I think the most important thing is like what David said is the practicing. You're just gonna have to go in there and meet as many people as you can, and and literally just collect the cards, the business cards. Just collect business cards. Just go in there, meet people, and collect their business cards, and then you'll figure out what industry what this person is doing. And by the time you start to develop that, you start to understand, well, this person actually doesn't have anything, right? Actually, you're maybe even more more valuable, right? And so it's interesting when I went to a networking event where it's all like, you know, flashy, glamour, and, and everybody has a business card. And, and, and when you go in there and when you know them long enough and you kind of see them around the block and you realize they're, they're not, anyone particularly special because I'll tell you this why most successful people aren't in those events <laughs> <laughs> yeah they're not there okay so if you want to you know if you're a guy trying to look for this uh, you know maybe a multi-millionaire billionaire then then find those uh, keynote speakers those events where specifically say this person will be here great you know and there's a networking function the ticket might be expensive but it's worth it you know I, I paid thousand dollars for a ticket to see somebody important right and make sure I can make that initial contact, right? Um, but really, it's about, uh, like I say, practicing, right? That's that's one way you can do it. Okay, so let's recap. Three things to overcome fear and three networking tips, right? So number one is to dress well, dress your best. Number two is to be prepared, okay? Have a uh, script or practice your, your approach, body language, so your smile, your uh, what you say, how you say it. Practice some questions you have in front of, ahead of time. The questions you're going to ask to find out more about the person. And number three is to go to the proper, go to the right event. Don't just go to any event, so that you actually um, network with the people you need to network with, not just like people that are going to waste time. Yeah, I think the most important thing about networking is your time, your value. Don't waste every second of it.
because uh, if you are gonna go to an event that you know that there's not enough quality people there, just don't go, right? Yeah. Uh, unless it was referred by a friend that some someone or so and so would be there, uh, go for it, right? Right. And to overcome your fears, just do it, practice it, repeat it, and desensitize yourself from the fear, or get a coach or get a mentor to help you mm -hmm. uh, and to guide you to do something you haven't done before. All right, so that's it. Thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe to this channel, comment. If you have questions about business, about your career, and your um, you need uh, life coaching, then make sure you give us a comment, give us a shout, and uh, we're gonna answer more questions that you have in the following videos. So see you soon. See you too. See you soon next time. See ya.